Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we're taking a look at the Korg MS-20. Specifically, we're going to look at what's referred to as the noise leak in the MS-20. Now, what is this noise leak? The noise leak is that when you have both oscillators turned down in the mixer, you still hear some noise, and people think this is due to a leak. Now, spoiler alert, it's not due to a leak. Instead, it's actually a noise that occurs due to the filter. Now, I'm using an MS-20 FS which is the full size limited edition, and it allows you to switch between an old filter type and a new filter type. So today we're going to take a look at where that noise comes from, and we're also going to listen to the difference between the two filters. Now that sounds great, so what is the problem? Let's take our VCO mixer and turn down the volume of both oscillators completely. We hear some noise. And that noise happens to sound similar to the noise setting on oscillator 1. Here it is turned down. Here it is turned up. Since both oscillators are turned all the way down, a lot of people think this is a bleed. But the source of this noise is actually coming from our filters. So once again, here's that noise. And now by holding F sharp, G sharp, B, and turning the MS-20 back on, we switch over into using a new type of filter. With the new OTA filter, the noise is gone. Let's switch back to the old style Korg K35 filter. If we take just that noise and we bring the resonance of our high pass filter up and then sweep, we get a pretty significant sound from our high pass filter. And the same thing goes for our low pass filter. Now let's go back to the new style filter, and we'll do the same thing with the high pass filter. There's still a little bit of sound coming from the filter, but it's not like it was with the old style filter. Let's do the same thing with the low pass. So switching back to our old style filter, we now know that the noise is actually coming from the old style filter and not from one of the two oscillators. So now let's experiment with our oscillators. And as we mix more of our oscillators with the VCO mixer, that noise becomes less significant. So now let's listen to some of the differences between the old and new filter type.
And just for the fun of it, while we're on the topic of filters, take a rubber band, tie it between the low and the high pass filters, and with one hand, you have the ability to turn both filters in contrary motion to each other. basic settings and we'll do a little bit of playing with the old style Korg K35 filter. Now using some similar settings, let's do some playing using the new style OTA filter. <laughs> 